Okay, so I have a question for you. Do you consider yourself to be a generous person? Our points to ponder comes from 2 Corinthians 9.6. It says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Uh, Generosity always represents an opportunity. Think about this, point number one. Our generosity impacts us as much as it does others. He said, if you if you bless others abundantly, you'll be blessed. And I know we don't necessarily, out of the motivation, give to get, but there are some spiritual principles here that are real. Our generosity will impact those other people that we're being generous to, but it, the Bible tells us very clearly it will have an effect on us as well. Number two, our generosity makes God happy. Um, It says this in in 2 Corinthians 9, 7, Everyone should give whatever they have decided in their heart. They should give without hesitation. They should give not because of pressure, because God loves a cheerful giver. Think about that. That is huge. God absolutely loves it when you are generous. Why is that? Because God is generous as well. 2 Corinthians 9, 11 says this, You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Which is point number three. Our generosity brings glory to God. That is huge. When you are kind and when you are generous and when you when you bless other people, it ultimately results in God being blessed and glorified through your life. What an what a incredible thing for us to be able to, to walk in God with. Number four, God is generous to us for a reason. I think that becomes abundantly clear. God blesses us so that we may bless others on his behalf. You know, the Dead Sea, it keeps taking and taking and taking. It is absolutely uninhabitable. There's no life in the Dead Sea. It's not generous. It doesn't give anything away. It's just like us. If you begin to just keep and hoard, and and the proverb says it this way. It said, there's a, a reasoning that says, I am going to keep everything. And that reasoning, which is opposed to God's generosity, actually leads to poverty. The world would tell us, hey, you keep and you hold and you hoard. But God operates in a very different economy. The more you give, the more God says, you know what, I can trust that person. I'm going to give to them. I want to be an open conduit. I want to encourage you to be an open conduit, not only to receive, but to express and give God's generosity today. You know, real problems require real solutions. So dig deep in God's word today.